I was really drawn to a documentary that I saw, and this woman, Miss Parker, uh, told us a little bit about what she lost. And so I thought the loss of home is what I really connected to, and I, it really resonated with me. So I put together this, this crown of sonnets, which, fun fact, I actually didn't know it was a crown of sonnets until somebody told me. So you don't always know everything that you write. You have no idea. So here we go, Miss Parker. Bring me back home, she says, lifting silver. Teacups, saucers, the pot bone dry. Fingers rubbing chicken skin, injecting pickle juice. She smiles, thinking, this is how we do it down here. No walls, no roof, knees worn to their fossil resin. Porch won't give in under her weight. Floorboards shifting, holding, begging. This is home. Dresses from newspaper patterns crafted by hand never tear down any part left standing. The wind picks who stays planted. No cotton here in this field. Stays planted, no cotton here in this field, refusing to lay her head down. Butterfly windows kiss when closed. Can't hang them any kind of way, you hear? Dig where roots lay, sleep deep in the narrow napes of necks and small white hairs fall back and stand up. This is close quarter breathing, the rise and fall worth more, a kneading. Eating on plates with brothers, a daughter's come back to fill rooms heavy with voices, big city breathing under the wood floors, there's still water trickling into the cold of night air, it rises. Into the cold of night air it rises like full white bellies and greased up fingers, tops of washed up houses sweep by your feet. Can't walk on no more nails, haystacks on the backs of trucks, tires stuck in mud, stop the heat from leaking. It gets cold in there most nights, rooms, color schemes, holy water, anything of value, gone. A place to stay. Sweet potato, pumpkin pie, actions speak like long, curly, black hair dragged down the steps. She took a trip backwards, calling her name. She took a trip backwards, calling her name, embedded in marble, a sprawling swamp. Her name was removed and replaced, pink stacks falling apart, stretched mouths bite, outside, inside, come up slow. The sun, like frying turkey, it sizzles, burns, get back. Leather-wrapped hands, the roots, the family, paint them. Play the music beside the fence, press pause. Lord, blessed with abundance, flatlined and back. Lord, blessed with abundance, flatlined and back. A visit in November comes early. Homesick, hungry, stuck in the flux, she trembles. Never happened, this thing, held her arms behind her head, waiting to raise the covers atop her face, still breathing. Lost in the black heap, he speaks in the confines of the trailer. She puts her shoes on. She knows somebody heard her. Part of them is gone. At dawn, another house rolls down the street. At dawn, another house rolls down the street, made of ashes, of summer, bolts of spring leaves, all seasons meeting for tea. It's pleasant in a world tucked under, flipped over, a spot to rest her knees, yellow trims and frames the corners of eyes closed shut. Hush of the hinges, folding, hollow echoes whip the air. Fair skin mistakes float past, knowing the water in the wells run dry. Tonight? We'll call for masses, fill the streets lined deep with bodies bordered with lilies. Tonight, she'll speak in two-tone, silver, gold. Tonight, she'll speak in two-tone, silver, gold, lay claim to the structure of bone. Sons talking old times in the kitchen, no water came, nothing ripped from walls left floating, knees not bending, no ache, no jewels thieved, no coins clenched in the fists of uniformed men, no pleading on rooftops for rescue. For days and days left, counting bodies, family lost, limbs hover from high white ceilings. Miss Parker. Miss Parker, miss, are you there? Bring me back home, she says, lifting silver. Thank you. Oh.